Congratulations! Now you've gone through all the tutorial videos and, well, you're ready to fly. Let me take you through a few short reminders to help you increase your sales productivity. I want to make sure you take your sales messages on the fly and you have the ability to leverage them while engaging online. A couple of reminders. In the Flyboard, you're going to see this welcome message. Make sure you've downloaded the Fly Message Chrome extension. Once you've done it, you can certainly dismiss it right here. How do you know you've got it? Right here in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the FM for Fly Message. Your window should look something very similar to this. You'll know you're logged out when it says you are not logged in. So this is an opportunity for you to make sure that you're always signed in and of course, the logo turns gray. So make sure you're always logged in. Now that you have all the tools needed to fly, it's time that I show you how to take off and boost your prospecting game to a whole new level. To use your fly cuts outside of fly message, first make sure you have the Chrome extension installed and active. It should be in purple just like this and it'll tell you you're logged in. Once that is done, simply go to tools like LinkedIn, HubSpot, Gmail, or other web pages where you can input your desired text. Let me take you to LinkedIn and do a test. We're gonna use the book a meeting fly cut. I'm here on Kurt Shaver, our chief business officer and one of our co-founders. And I'm going to simply type in the words, book a meeting. And voila, it built out. And the best part, I've got a single instance URL in this message. And when I click send, well, there you go. It's now added not only the link and the message, but also the individual web page. Let's try another one, my podcast. And all I got to do here is click on the first name and say, hey, Kurt. And boom, my repeatable message keeps on going. And it essentially takes the message, sends it on, and I've got the link all embedded right inside of there. One thing to keep in mind with LinkedIn is that LinkedIn is an application that uses simple text. So make sure you generally only have one link. If you have two links, unfortunately, LinkedIn will not be able to bring in the thumbnail as you see here. It'll just show the links as link number one and link number two. So it doesn't look as pretty. So when using LinkedIn and any type of messaging, whether it's from fly message or manually cut and pasted, only include one link if you can so that you can get that nice social media thumbnail. If you're unsure of where you can use different types of rich text versus simple text ad, sometimes you're going to have to test and try it. However, feel free to come back to fly cuts and right up here in the testing area, mouse over the preview panel and you'll see here the instructions on where and when you could possibly use simple text versus rich text. Pretty easy. Tools such as LinkedIn or Slack, generally, that's all simple text. But tools like Gmail, Salesforce, HubSpot, those tools accept rich text format. So you can include images, hyperlinks, and links that are even embedded to a set of words as a hyperlinked word. So you are now ready to fly. That's it. Get out there and enjoy flying with Fly Message.